Here are the ingredients. Sweet potato noodle, carrot, bell pepper, onion, mushroom, garlic, large green onion, spinach, beef, sesame seeds, soy sauce, cooking oil, sugar, sesame oil, cooking wine, salt, and pepper. First, let's cut the sweet potato noodles and vegetables. This is called tangmyeon, which is a kind of clear and chewy, so it's sometimes called glass noodles. It is the main starch in the dish, and the rest is vegetables and little meat. It used to be eaten only by the royals, but now it's a common side dish in Korea. You can see that there are many different vegetables which make the rich and savory taste of japchae. Many Korean dishes will add a small amount of beef so that each bite has a slightly oily and meaty flavor, but it does not dominate the dish. Marinating the beef softens and enhances the flavor. Let's cut the thin slices and we'll add some seasoning. Let's add some cooking wine and sugar. If you prefer a little sweet flavor, then you can add more sugar. Add a little soy sauce and black pepper and mix well. Leave this for 10 minutes before frying. I also like to marinate the mushroom because they are really can soak in a lot of flavor. After putting seasoning, and then also leave mushroom for 10 minutes. Boiling the noodles for a few minutes and wash it cold water. After washing the noodles, drain the water well. If you leave too much extra water, the noodle will expand and the texture will be terrible. Blanch the spinach for just one minute and wash it cold water. After drain, draining, then squeeze the extra water out. We are going to add a, we are going to mix the noodles and spinach with fried vegetables. Now let's fry the vegetables. Use medium heat and add some oil. Start with the harder vegetable like a carrot that need more time to cook. Add onions and bell pepper. Look at the beautiful color of the vegetables. Last, add the garlic and remove from the heat. Let it cool before we mix. Next, add some oil and lightly fry the beef and mushroom. This is where you really smell the wonderful flavor of japchae. Add the large green onion and garlic and stir fry. In the last step, combine all the ingredients, add some sesame seeds and sesame oil, adjust the salt uh, to your preference using soy sauce. Enjoy!